the, the question of obese um, um, uh, uh, view on frugality and the uh, management of resources cannot be put to, cannot be questioned as mm. far its integrity because that has represented him in several forms. You remember during the campaign, they said, you know, they gave shishi, it became mm -hmm. a slugger, a slogan. And incidentally, a lot of young, young Nigerians bought into that and that bet the obedience movement. Yeah. However, as critical as this may be, the Nawalge, um, as it is of Abuja, you want to remove 200 homes or houses mm -hmm. that make way for presidential flights. Are we sane in this country? Are we okay? <laughs> Do we need some form of a spiritual shrink to manifest in the form of angels to begin to check if our mind is functioning at par with what it should be? Do you mean that we are at 87.91 trillion debt as at the third quarter of 2023? And uh, we have not talked about the addition of that of 20, the last quarter where mm. we are right now. And you are talking about making room for presidential fleets. Help us make better sense of no, this. No, I, I, I completely share the... Uh, the thoughts of uh, Mr. Peter Obi about the uh, how this will impact on, on those who live in that environment. But I've always said that if we want a good country, we have to be a country of laws. I have said on this program maybe some few months back that Every land in the FCT is owned by the federal government. Anybody who builds on any land in the FCT without approval from the FCT is a squatter, is a tenant at will, is merely passing through, is stay on that piece of land is transitory. Mm -hmm. So, um, while, while, while I, I appreciate where Peter Obi is coming from, I also want to say that we must be guided by the rules that have been put in place to make society function, function properly. That land had already been allocated to the presidential fleet long ago. And because the presidential fleet did not utilize the land for, his, for the purpose for which it was allocated, mm. people moved in there and built a community there. And the government now wants to utilize that particular piece of land for the purpose for which it was allocated. And they've gone back to the people who are there right now and said, look, uh, you know that this land, nobody, there's no sea of O, there is no government permission for you to live on this particular property. This property in the Abuja master plan was already allocated to the this fleet. the presidential fleet. And, and so uh, please, can you kindly move? And the communities agreed to move. If government is willing to uh, offer um, knowing their situation, knowing that they were there uh, illegally, uh, they have agreed to move, but they've also asked that government should provide uh, some compensation and some whatever to allow them move. Okay. Here, is a, here is a concern here. Yeah. Where I said, if we need to have our minds examined, yes, all, prop all lands belong to government, whether nationally. In, in the FCT, actually. You know, it's, it's, it's even, been even, paid for. Mm, no, yeah. well, it's been paid for, yeah, but the at the stage, they will tell you, we, we have seen government at state level do all kinds of things yeah. and tell you that lands belong to government. That is not, that is not um, negotiable at the moment. I mean, we're not in law court to begin yeah. to test all of that. But if you look at 200 houses, you're looking at more than 200 persons yeah. on, the, on the list. Yeah, at least like 800 persons. Good. At 4% this per, per good house. exactly. So now this good, this land belongs to the federal government. Originally designed for the presidential fleet. Yeah. Not today. Yeah. Not in 2023. Economy, a Nigerian economy. No. Good. So if all these seem to be at par, what a bee is looking at is not even in the ownership of the land. Mm -hmm. It is the economic impact of this. 
People are hungry. People are looking for jobs. People are looking for survival. Now, does the federal government have a right to this land? Yes. As much as it has a right to this land. But the reason why they are used, utilizing it now in such an austere time is what actually is the query here. What do we need such luxurious fleet for? That number. I mean, the presidential fleet is somewhere right yeah. now. So we need to extend this to bring to life the original plan. Yeah. Uh, Barista Karipo, if this land was being taken away, or you're asking this, we need to use this land to build something that will bring better economy. We want to do A, B, C, D. I do not think that Obi will be having this conversation. Mm -hmm. That's the angle I want us to look at. Is there no better way to manage the situation than saying you want to, because you want to extend the presidential fleet, give up the land? I, I because think, that's where the, that's where I, I the think, issue is. I think, I think what the issue is, uh, and uh, we've, we've gone over this in Nigeria over and over, is our penchant for, for doing illegal things and then turning around and trying to emotionally pull emotional strings uh, around the illegality, the illegal stuff that we've done. You entered that land illegally. It wasn't a land that was allocated to you. Now the owners Why of the land. Why were they allowed to stay in that land? If this is about because legality. this is Nigeria. This is Nigeria. You you have you have what is going on in Lagos. Uh, the buildings on canals and all that mm. people government does not have the manpower and and the the passion to follow through with some of these processes i'll give you an example i have a friend a family friend who wanted to build a house in the u.s he bought a piece of land he wanted to build a house it took him two years just to get his architectural drawing approved two years Two whole years. It had to be going to the local government council in the whatever, the county council or whatever mm. they call it in the US, with his architect to go and what do you want to do with this? How do you to go and correct and do until they were certain that they wanted this they he had everything that had been perfected mm -hmm. before they gave him approval to start construction. Here so, in Nigeria, mm. we just go ahead, we do with the anyhow sorry about that, but the anyhow ness of Nigerians is is what gets me. Do things properly so that you don't turn around and ask people to start pulling emotional strings and say, look, I am a victim here, I am oppressed here. Mm. That land, if you wanted a piece of land, you wanted to live in an area, and, and this is what I, I feel for government, because one person might just go there and build a small shack. Another person joins him. Another person joins him. So suddenly you find out the big community is... Uh, maybe, uh, that place has become a big community. And it now becomes an issue. 